Hi, I'm Damien from CodeFights. In this video, we're going to be talking about the tree data structure. Unlike arrays or linked lists, trees aren't a linear data structure. Instead, it's an abstract data type that's used for representing hierarchical data. The tree data structure is composed of parent and child nodes. Each node contains a value and a list of references to its children, which are also nodes. Trees borrow terms from nature. Each tree has a root node and leaf nodes. The root node is the only node without parents and is drawn at the base of the tree. A leaf node is a node that doesn't have any child nodes. A parent node can be the child of another parent. Children of the same node are called siblings. Tree traversal and implementation problems are extremely common in technical interviews. Trees are frequently used because many common tasks involving trees are easily implemented with recursive solutions. This allows your interviewer to assess your familiarity with different coding styles. Why are trees so useful? They're very memory efficient. They can also grow to hold an arbitrary number of objects. A balanced sorted tree with n items only has a depth of order log n. This makes implementing an order log n search a cinch. The hierarchy of a tree is a natural choice for modeling many problems, like representing a company's hierarchy, or the files on a computer. Another good example would be an address book application, like the one on your phone. The names are ordered so that each name on the left child occurs earlier in the alphabet than its parent, and each child on the right occurs later than its parent. For example, if looking for Gustav's number, we would start at the root, Flaka. Since Gustav appears later than Flaka, we would move to the right to Madison. Since Gustav appears earlier than Madison, we would move to the left, and voila, we found Gustav. This node would store the information needed to contact Gustav, such as his phone number. Another common example of a hierarchical tree is the document object model, or DOM, used in HTML. Each opening and closing tag, such as the divs, the unordered list, and list items, are nodes. The list item, item 1, is contained inside the content div, as well as inside the unordered list tag. Each element's parent is the smallest element that contains it. Item 1's parent is the unordered list, and the unordered lists is the content div. The root node is the HTML element. The HTML node's only child is the body node. The three divs are siblings. They are all children of the body node. Many front-end frameworks allow you to select a node and its subtree, that is, the node and all of its descendants. A lot of front-end engineering in jQuery and CSS is about selecting the right nodes. The selection shown below selects all the list items that are children of the content, of which there are none. But this selection selects all the list items that are descendants, that is, children of children, of content. A lot of front-end engineering is about understanding the tree model and how to select the pieces you want to get the result you imagined. The DOM is just one instance of a real-life example of using a tree to model data. As we discussed earlier, there are a lot of different applications. Head over to Interview Practice on CodeFights to read our in-depth tutorial and practice on real interview questions about trees. If you liked this video, give us a thumbs up below, and make sure you subscribe to the CodeFights channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos.